Hey, it's Mel, the hair and tie trucker guy, coming at you from Nashville, Tennessee. And, um, well, as promised, I wanted to show you guys um, the bed that I keep on talking about. Um, I'm doing laundry uh, now because, well, another weekend, another 34 hour reset, you know, on the road. Uh, getting used to those. You don't get a whole lot of miles here. But, anyways. Um, as you can see, I've only been in this truck for a little, you know, two months, and you know, here's the bed. And it's nothing more than just a little, um, a little foam pad. And I mean, even the stitching and stuff on here is coming off. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. It's coming off, but it's, it's not very thick, you know. There it is, you know, just a couple inches thick, just a padding. There's no, no spring or nothing in it, and uh, well, that's the bed they give you, and uh, I guess we got to be happy about that because there ain't very much else we can be happy about. Definitely not the miles. So you know, I mean, if you if you're one of those drivers that that doesn't really care a whole lot about miles then this is a perfect company for you but just remember you're not getting paid unless those wheels are rolling and that means miles so you know you get about you get 300 mile 300 and some odd you know mile loads and then you know you get a an 800 mile load but it has to be there you know like uh, in a day and a half but then when a weekend comes around, like on a Friday, you know, I always get stuck with these loads that are like, you know, 630 miles, 615 miles. So, you know, I get a 34 hour reset every weekend and uh, I don't need it, <laughs> but uh, I get it every weekend. So that's what you expect when you come here. But, um, you know, hey, you got to do your research on the company and you know I did research on this company and you know I looked at it and um, I looked at what they had to offer and well you don't always get you don't always get uh, all the information there's little to no videos out there on you know the logistics of everything so you know that's one of the one of the things that I'm reporting to you guys you know so those are the kind of miles and stuff that you want and you know that's that's all fine and dandy but uh, you know I'm I'm used to running you know 12,000 miles a, a month and um, well here you get about you know maybe 9,000 every two months you know not a whole lot not a whole lot of miles whatsoever a lot of hard work which is you know it's good I guess you get you get practice but uh yeah i'm i'm definitely i mean i can't lie I'm, I'm i'm definitely looking at you know other avenues at this point because there's just there's no money to be made and uh i'm not in here to play their you know their little games and stuff and and uh well i'm, I'm not here to make money so uh i'm looking and i hate I hate jumping around different jobs and stuff like that because it's just not who I am but obviously no matter how many times you tell them or how many times you show them how you're capable of running legal and, and doing things legal and doing things the right way well that's on them that's on their little um, their little games they play back at um, their headquarters and uh, I guess they just their 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 reputation out there for loads and stuff is not there because we're not getting it. I've talked to you know drivers and stuff. I've talked to drivers from TMC, at places that we load up out of, and and they're they're getting they're getting the miles. And um, I've talked to people at Maverick too. They get miles. They get you know they get loads. They have. Um, they don't have to do as many repowers. I cannot believe how many repowers I've had to do with this company. And repowers are a pain in the butt when you're doing flatbed. 
because you have to, you know, you talk about equipment and, you know, sort of like this bed, I get stuck with some really, really crappy equipment. I mean, like, hey, the majority of the drivers out here I've had to repower, they do not take care of their equipment. I mean, it's the worst freaking equipment ever, you know, and um, the tarps are just terrible. They're shredded, holes all over them, and it's like, how lazy can you people be, you know? So they should change their um, they should change their policy on that. They should make the drivers um, buy the tarps. Maybe they would start taking care of them. But uh, my policy now, you know, with them is, hey, if I have to do a repower, <laughs> everything's coming off because I'm tired of patching up other people's shitty tarps. And you know, it's just that way. But who knows? I mean, I. I've got some uh, some callbacks and stuff, and got some plans and stuff in the works. So who knows? Maybe my time uh, with this company is up because uh, unless they change their and unless they they start changing the way they do things and um, be a little bit more friendlier with their drivers, you actually give them a bed to sleep on instead of this crap here, um, then well. They're going to lose drivers and they're going to turn into one of those crappy companies that no one wants to work for. So. But that's all on them. So for all of you guys out there, you know, that are watching these videos, man, you guys better start talking to um, Bob and let him be aware of what's going on because uh, it's not good. It's not good. It's how you your business goes down the poop chute. <laughs> but anyways... I um, thought I'd just let you guys see for yourselves, you know, the, the shoddy bed. And, um, well, that's all I have. So, peace out, Hair Nation.